All oh, praises to the almighty, majestic creator. I love you, my loving kindness. And to all of my fellow servants in the kingdom of the Most High, I send you infinite love and light. Yes, if you're new to my station, there's many anomalies happening on the continent of Africa. And we are getting peeks into Eden. And we're going to be on the left wing of this Archangel Uriel. Yeah, you're looking at an a angel. This is an Archangel, and he has a fiery sword, just like described in the Bible. And so the area today, there is a grand uncovering of some, some magic happening on his left wing. And so this is how all of this uncovering happens. We're just going to take a moment to explain how this uncovering is taking place. This is the archangel that was assigned to protect and guard Eden. Yes. And in his fiery sword is a lot of technology. Yes. So there's a cloaking device involved in it. And also there is the blowing away of the Sahara Sands. At the fall of mankind, the Most High took Eden into inner earth, which is called Agartha, and he covered it with sand. Yeah, it just looked like it's just nothing but sand over there. And this sand has been blowing off the continent of Africa every year since it was covered with sand. And it's acting as an hourglass for the Most High. Yes, it's all magical. And so now we're getting at the bottom of the sands. Have you ever walked on a beach and wondered, I wonder what's underneath all this sand? Well, on the continent of Africa, what's happening underneath all those sands is a lot of magic. This place has... A different kind of magic from the other places that we visited. Now, some of you seen uh, this area before because I came to it a couple times on some videos. But I just wanted to go back and visit again because this is one of my favorite places. Now, just look at the grounds. You can see where it's like. The cloaking device has it looking like desolation on one side, but what's underneath there is very magical and beautiful. And it's only just a small residual of sand left on the grounds, and the grounds are turning blue and brown and such. And it's a lot of life forms down there. So let's just take a look around. The Most High has all kind of magic. And I just want to give a special shout out to Archangel Uriel for assisting me on this journey. Yes, he has assisted me along with other ascended masters and ancestors in the Ruach Kakadash. Yeah, because this is all new. This is a new science. Yes, I do my best to explain what has been downloaded, but this is a very new science, and they're guiding me through it. Yes, so I just wanted to give a special shout out to the Archangel Uriel because all of this is taking place on his body. He has kept his, his assignment. He has guarded and protected Eden. Yeah, and kept others out. Yeah, all praises to the Most High. So you can see here where the sands, it's like a lot of different stuff going on. You see different little tracks and stuff, and the lands are turning all kind of beautiful colors. Look at that. Yeah, never seen sand so beautiful. Now, um, this area right here, I love this area because it's, you know, you can really, really see in this area what's going on. 
and there are motherships in this area. There are spacecrafts in this area. There's other land vehicles in this area. I think this time I will put the coordinates in the description box. So if you want to go look around this <laughs> very magical area, yeah, just click on that link in the description box to Google Earth and it'll take you right here. Right now I'm looking at a king. He has on one of those imperial crowns and a white coat sitting in front of a control panel. And there are others around him in this space crab. And it has plasma light at the bottom. Yeah, what do you see when you see UFOs? You see lights. Now he is a giant. I'm just going to measure his head from his forehead to his chin. You see that? 13 feet. His head is 13 feet. I told you guys, we are the little people. Yeah, Gulliver's Travel. I forgot his name. I think Jonathan, Jonathan Swift or something wrote Gulliver's Travel. Probably because in his dreams he went to some of these dimensions and came back and wrote a story. Yeah, we are the little people. <laughs> and so is our knowledge. Yeah, then I see a beautiful princess. You can see her brown face, long black hair, and she has on white. And there's others sitting around in this spaceship. Look at that. In the middle of your screen, there's a little baby there. You can see that little brown face. I can even see the baby's little hands. And it's wearing blue. And it's sitting on someone's lap. So this is like life forms that we didn't know about. It was prophesied. All right, it was spoken of about giants being on the land. <laughs> and, you know, it might be just like how you're looking at this, even though this is a reality. This mothership is a reality. You see the Google Earth coordinates at the bottom of your screen. And you can see enough to tell what's going on there. But unless you're seeing it, I'm not talking about looking at it. I'm talking about seeing it with your Third, ah, you don't understand that this is a reality that the Most High has so many different secrets going on. Look at the massive size of this spaceship. I mean, it's six stories high. And it was like 350 feet across. That is massive. And so are they inside of it. Yeah, they have many modes of transportation and eating. Can you imagine... Riding in a spaceship? I can. That's one of the modes of transportation, honey. Along with the dragons. Along with the trails. Yeah. And then in this area, like I said, they have some land vehicles as well. I don't know if we're going to find it today or not. But yeah. There's some other life forms around here too. Now these are life forms as well. These are life forms and they have some kind of mechanisms. You see that light right there? It's like some kind of light mechanism that they're working with. But I've seen screens. We're going to get to the part where you'll see that they have screens that they're looking into. And they're not typical to us. They're quite, quite different. That's why I love this area. It's so strange. Now this is... Uh, some of our fellow servants, I don't know if they're from inner earth or from another galaxy, but you can see that they're looking at screens and they're just standing around and their bodies are different from ours. I believe that these are some of the ones that float. Yeah, because they don't have the two legs and feet. It looks like they just float around, but you can see them pretty good here. Yeah, they have technology too. And it's my belief that if they come from another galaxy, that they choose Eden to when they come and visit, they choose Eden. Certain of them are allowed into Eden. Yeah, because it's a lot of fun stuff going on in this area. I see faces in that screen. Yeah, look at that. That looked like someone sitting down. <clears throat> So, yeah, this is real, and so are they. Shalom, fellow servants over there in Eden. I send you infinite love and light. 
and I receive yours. And look at those grounds. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. A place of Eden. Yes, there's all kind of mysteries in Eden, honey. Look at all of these little ships. So you've seen the mother ship. These are some smaller ones. And then they have some medium ones. And you see life forms around it. Yep, they're all together there. It's a few groups like this with the spacecrafts in it. This one, I see some plasma around it. So it might be, you know, getting ready to take off or something. I don't know. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, I hope you guys are just enjoying this because the Most High, He is our loving kindness. And he's allowing us to peek into all kind of magical stuff that we didn't know anything about. And this knowledge is coming straight from the spirit realm. It is not in the books. It's not in the books. And for all of y'all that think that something is not a reality because we weren't told about it, you were so mistaken. Those Google Earth coordinates prove that these ships are 100% reality. Yes, and it's not in the books. We weren't told about it. We've been seeing UFOs and stuff. They even had little toys made of UFOs in Egypt in the ancient days. Now look at them. They look like they just chilling out. That's why I think this is a vacation spot. You're looking at a giant sitting down right there. He got on a big old, he got like a big, Wild fro in a white t-shirt look like and dark pants. Now he has legs. I'm gonna take a measurement of him. <laughs> he just looked like he chilling too. Oh man, cause life in Eden is chill. Life in Eden is chill, y'all. He's 60 feet tall. Come on, five stories high. He is giant. And then there's other life forms around him. This looks like some kind of female with some kind of power pack on or something. I don't know, but <laughs> it is so cool. Yeah. Yeah, they just chilling over there and eating. Just chilling out. In this wonderful place with all of the spaceships around it. Just look at her. Those are definitely not rocks. Yeah, and there's some lights emitting some blues and greens emitting from them. And, and some reds look like. Right by a spaceship. Yeah, and their density is different from our own. You have to remember that. Just like Adam's density was different. Yeah, we are spirit creatures. Look at him in there. You can see his face glowing. If you look really close, you can see his brown face glowing in that spaceship. With all of that design on the ground. Look at all of that. <laughs> it's a lot of these spaceships. That's why I'm gonna leave the Google Earth coordinate because if you if you just check this uncovering, you're gonna find quite a few uh, ships. They look like they have passengers in it too. You can see little figures in the side windows, and then there's life figures around them as well. So let's take a measurement of this spaceship. It's like half the size of the mother ship. And this looked like some sort of portal. I don't know, but it's a lot of life forms around it too. Yeah, some of the blue ones, they emit blue light. Some of them are blue. Yeah, who knew that they were blue life forms? <laughs> who knew that they were jet black life forms? Now, I love this image right here. I never spend enough time on it. But what I'm looking at, it looks like in the middle, 
It looks like an older gentleman with a beard and he has on a tam and sunshades. And he has a very, very tall uh, being standing on his right and another one on his left. And it looks like someone is standing right in front of him, like right in front of his shoulder, his right shoulder from another dimension. Yeah, they're giant too. And I don't know if they're casting the shadow right there or if that's a part of them, but that's like awesome. And it's some little ones right next to them. Like they got a family or something. <laughs> and it probably is some kind of royal family from another galaxy or something. Why not? It's nothing too big for the Most High. Now this one, I love it because you see that blue action behind it. It looks like it's about to take off or something. Yeah, it has some, and he like have a smile in there. Look like to me, yeah, probably about to take off. This is just so amazing. The whole journey is just like so magical and amazing. And it's very real, even though it seemed to be unbelievable. Yes. They come back, just like I said, we the little people. People, when you go to sleep, sometimes you go in a dream state and you're actually in another dimension. You just don't know it. Sometimes you recall dreams and sometimes you don't. Well, I had a visitation last night from a very recent ancestor, and that would be my mother. She had visited me, and she was giving me a woman-to-woman -woman talk about something that I needed wisdom on and encouragement and uplifting, and she strengthened me so much, and she was straight to the point, and I only can remember like a, a, a short moment of that dream, but I can remember the conversation. And that's how we get downloads. Yeah, and then the angels, like these are angels and the guardians over there. This is real. Those are the coordinates over there. Now that's on the other wing. Yeah, that's on the other wing. That's on the right wing. But the angels are real, and so are the ascended masters. So now we're back into our 3D dimension. We see the duck sitting by the river and the roaring rapids. That is a beautiful reality. So is Eden. It's a beautiful reality. Thank you for watching. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this magical news. And hit that notification bell because it's a lot more to come. Okay, you guys. Shalom. Hebrew Widow out.